So help me, Sony, if you blue ball me again with this game, I will come up out this chair like the ghost of Christmas future. Do not play with me. What's good, guys? So I just want to talk briefly about the upcoming PlayStation Summer Showcase. I'll probably do another one of these videos for Xbox when they do their show and then, you know, hopefully a Nintendo Direct. But we'll see if we don't get a Nintendo Direct, there'll probably be a video that'll be speculation about why we didn't. Uh, now I'm going to go over the games that I hope to see and the games that I'm interested in. That's not going to cover every game that everybody is interested in here. I'll perfect example. Death Stranding 2, sure it will be a great game. I am not a Kojima fan. Uh, I, I His brand of storytelling just does not suit me. I do not like hour-long cutscenes. I do not like uh, just dumps of exposition, and that's just sort of how he tells stories, so I don't really engage in his games. It's just not for me. Uh, so first off, I'm going to go through the things that I know we're going to see, and then the things that I hope we're going to see. Uh, first off, Spider-Man, not really a whole lot that I need to see there. Um, maybe, you know, a breakdown of a few more villains as we've only seen a few so far. Um, really any upgrades to combat or traversal or any new gadgets that we need. But I mean, there's nothing that's really going to need to sell the game to me at this point. Like I already won it. Uh, next game I want to talk about another superhero game, uh, Wolverine. Now, huge Wolverine fan. My son's name is Logan. I think that speaks for itself. Uh, I think that for a superhero game to be successful, it needs a few things. Now, this isn't to be game of the year. You need a lot more than just these three things. But these, I think, are the three pillars that make sure the game is at least good. Uh, you need combat that's engaging, that feels like you're playing within the uh, within the superhero. Uh, things still need to feel like a threat to you, but you do need to feel as if you have the powers of the hero that you're playing. Um, I think Wolverine can do that just fine. He's... You know, he's not immortal. He still needs rapid healing. There's different, definitely different things you could do with him there. Uh, the other thing is traversal. I think if you think of, you know, Batman's grappling hook and glider or Spider-Man being able to swing from building to building, you need to be able to move through the world in a way that feels both engaging and feels like it's a natural evolution of how the hero would navigate that world. Uh, these are two reasons why I think you'll probably never see like a good Superman game because there's just no way to make, you know, flying from place to place super interesting. Like it needs to feel more grounded than that. Uh, and then the third thing I think is a notable cast of villains. I think if you think of a, there's a lot of Batman villains that people know of, same with Spider-Man uh, with the Wolverine. He has some villains that are sort of based off of him and then some villains that are crossover with X-Men villains. Uh, I think you could look at obviously Sabretooth, Wendigo, Omega Red. Like there's a, a list of villains that are both X-Men villains and both have sort of a uh, more of a rivalry with Wolverine. So I think that there's plenty there's there's plenty of things to see where the boxes could be checked that that game would be good um i want to see what's coming up for ben's studio i was a i was a pretty big fan of days gone i think it kind of got a shaft in the way that uh, it didn't really get a chance for a second game um it was not the greatest game ever i'm not going to sit here and pretend like it was but in the same vein i feel like with the freaker hordes they did try to do something original within the zombie genre and i think anytime somebody does that and it doesn't get rewarded it's kind of a shame so i want to see what they got because my hope for them is that they get their uh if you think of uh sucker punch with ghost of tsushima if you think of gorilla with horizon i want to see ben get a franchise that is going to be the franchise they're going to be working on going forward uh i want to see what's going on with bungie like it seems like Sony acquired Bungie and we just all kind of forgot about it. Like I'm sure they're, we're going to get a new title from them. I'm guessing it's going to be more multiplayer focused as that's sort of their wheelhouse already. So it'll be interesting to see what comes from them. Obviously at the intro of the video, the, the rumors of a bloodborne remaster bloodborne is literally goaded to me. It is my favorite game of all time. And I, I just can't get my hopes up with it. Unfortunately, it's one of those things where, uh, you know, it's like fool me once, shame on me. Well, at this time, it's like fool me 10 times uh, or I don't think I got that right. Fool me once, shame on you. Fool me twice, shame on me. Anyways, I've been fooled a lot with this game. I can't 
get invested if if literally they just go on the stage and say the word bloodborne so that i know that they haven't forgotten that the franchise exists i will probably chalk that up as a win because my standards are that low outside of that i like i am really interested i know they have a few new studios but those studios are so new that i don't know that there's anything we're gonna see from them yet uh a possible uh maybe a teaser on ghost of tsushima 2 we've had a few years since that game came out i'm sure we got a few more till we see its sequel but i would just like to see a little something a little something to kind of wet the taste buds so to speak um outside of that you know i may stream it depending on what my work schedule lines up with when the show airs if i can pull that off if not maybe i'll do a reaction video afterwards but that's going to wrap it up for this one. Uh, let me know what you guys are interested in down in the comments, and we will catch you on the next one. Until then, guys, get awesome.